Alright, I got a joke for you guys, but I'm not sure if you'll get it. It's because it's UDP. <laughs> I learned that joke from a good friend of mine uh, named Keith Barker, who helped me actually study for my CCMP route exam. And speaking of routing, uh, this video is going to be covering uh, GRE tunneling. More specifically, applying IP security to a GRE tunnel. And how GRE tunnels work, uh, they encapsulate IP traffic inside of an IP packet and then they send it across the wire to its destination where it is then decapsulated and the inner packet is then routed. GRE is commonly used to bridge two routed domains over uh, a network. Uh, outside of your administrative control and when you use GRE over the public internet security is a concern and therefore you want to encrypt the traffic uh, and this is where IPSEC comes in now why do we want to use IPSEC well it provides data authentication data integrity data confidentiality confidentiality and then replay protection or anti replay which ensures no packets are, are uh, duplicated so here is uh, the topology that we're working with. We have the Hawaii router with a Mai Tai client. And then we got the San Diego router and San Diego network with the Surfer client. And right now I have a GRE tunnel already built and it's running EIGRP between them. And uh, it, the traffic of course is unencrypted, but now I'm going to go through the configs and apply IP security. So let's get started with the Hawaii router. Alright, so the first thing we have to do, and I have the steps laid out right here so you guys could follow along on what I need to do first. So the first step is define an ISIC uh, policy. So we go into global config mode and do crypto ISA KMP policy and then whatever number it is. Okay. And then we're going to do encryption right off the bat with encryption AES. And then authentication pre-share. Alright, that should be it. And now I need to define the pre-shared key, which is crypto isokmp key. And what is my options? We are going to use zero for an unencrypted password. And then followed by our password. And then the address of where we're going to send this information to, who we're trying to peer with, which is going to be the public IP address of the San Diego router right there. So that is 20.20.20.6. All right. Next, uh, we are going to config a transform set, which will actually encrypt the data. So I don't know why I hit exit, but we'll go crypto IPsec transform set. And then what do we name it? So I'm going to name it trans ipsec underscore GRE, followed by uh, the encryption and the authentication. So we're going to do ESP AES, AES, and then the authentication. Ipsec will use SHA HMAC. All right, hit enter. Good. Now let's uh, build the profile, the IPsec profile. So we'll go crypto ipsec profile. And then we got to name it. So let's name it IPsec GRE. Cool. Now we need to set the transform set that we just created, which we call trans underscore IPsec underscore GRE. And that's about it. So now we need to apply it to the GRE tunnel. So the GRE tunnel here is interface tunnel one. And we're going to do tunnel protection and we're going to be using IPsec, that's our only option. And then the profile we created, which was IPsec underscore GRE. And now we're applying protection on one side. So since we're currently running AIGRP on one side, so we should lose our neighbor to San Diego. If we do, then that means our tunnel was working. Oh, cross your fingers. All right, there you go. Cool. Hold down timer. Hold down timer. All right. So. Now let's go to the San Diego router and configure that end. So let's bring that up. Oops. And basically we do the same config that we did to the Hawaii router. So first thing, define the ISO KMP policy. So ISO KMP policy 10. And we started with encryption of AES. AES. And then authentication, we did a pre-shared key. Pre-share. So exit out, and then we'll do crypto 
ISA KMP key. An unencrypted key, you, uh, that's what the zero means. And then the password or the key. Address, the address is going to be the public IP address of the Hawaii router. So that's 20.20.20.1. Hit that, should be good to go. Now we need to configure the transform set. So we do crypto ipsec transform set and we name it ipsec underscore GRE. And what kind of encryption are we gonna use? We're gonna use AES and what kind of authentication? We are going to do SHA HMAC, hit enter. And now let's define the uh, profile. So the IPsec profile, and we gotta name it. And we're gonna set the transform set that we just created, trans underscore ipsec underscore GRE. Cool. And we should apply it to the interface, tunnel interface, tunnel protection, ipsec profile ipsec underscore GRE should be good to go and EIGRP come up yeah there you go so that means we configured it on both sides correctly and now we should be able to ping uh, the MyTai client or ping from the MyTai client to the surfer so let's go ahead and, and do that bring this up and this looks like a host, but it's actually a router in disguise. I stripped it from its routing capabilities, and I did no IP routing, so it's just a normal device, I should say. So we'll just ping 10.10.20.2. All right, we got five pings right off the bat. Good. So how do we know the packets were encrypted? Well, we actually have to go onto the router and do a, a show command. So we're back to the Hawaii router and we will do show crypto ipsec uh, security associations and we want to see the security association for our peer of the San Diego router which is 20.20.20.6 .20 and we got some output so one thing I want to look at here let's see if I could bring this up a little more is Let's see here, right here, packets encapsulated 29 and then packets decapsulated 29. So the more we ping and the more uh, we send traffic through, this should uh, go higher or it should be raised, I should say. So let me see if I can prove that. Look at that. Hit the up arrow. There you go. So last time it was 29 packets encapsula uh, encapsulated and encrypted as well. Uh, but they've also been decrypted when the return came back. And then here you could see what kind of encryption and authentication we're using and stuff like that. So, uh, but that's it. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I've always heard of, oh yeah, we could just apply IPsec to a GRE tunnel. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. That makes sense, you know? But I never knew really how to configure it. So this is why I wanted to take the time and uh, show you guys how to configure it and uh, just give you some uh, overall knowledge on, on this subject. So if you have any questions or you'd like to leave a comment, uh, go ahead and put it in the comment below. And I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.